Hey guys, I'm going to be demonstrating how to use uh, RGMG uh, the pools dashboard. It's a new addition to our site. Um, and there's a couple of different things you can do on here. So first of all, you're going to be prompted to a login. Um, you'll have to PM me on CDC to get your uh, username and password. There's no registration. So just let me know and I'll hook you up. So log in and you'll see your team and then a bunch of different things you can do here. Um, so let's uh, just show you something here. Okay, so if I go to my cap sheet, apparently you don't have any captains or alternate set, so let's do that first. Um, a lot of players on there. Can't see this. Oh, there he is. Could probably do this alphabetically or something. All right, so I'll set my uh, captains and alternates, and then automatically it'll show up on the right hand side. So any transaction you make will be shown here. Um, I think the limit's at ten, so I'll show your last ten transactions. We'll go back to my cap sheet, refresh, there they are. So these three will automatically update, um, but everything else has to go through an approval process. So let's say I want to call up uh, Nick Patan. As you can see, his uh, status is set to pending. Um, what that means is if you go to the transaction page, you'll see a pending transaction. Um, so these two buttons are only viewable by the commissioner. Um, so what they'll do is they'll either decline or accept. So the thinking behind all of this is we're going to update the pickupcoffee.com uh, pool sheet every you know every other day. So what we'll do is we'll come on this uh, we'll come on this page. And we'll look at all the pending ones and then we'll input it on Pickup Hockey. Accept. Go back to the hockey except. So just keep doing that back and forth, back and forth. So it's an easy way for us to update the sheet and everything's in one central location. Um, there's really no reason for anything to be declined except for maybe a mistake on your end. So you can report that. They don't, don't put this through. Or maybe, um, you know, there might be a scenario, but I'm not sure what that would be, but it's there if we need to cancel it. So let's see if I accept that. And then I'll go back to my cash sheet. Currently he's on the bottom, I refresh. There he is. My uh, active roster. So the same principle applies for uh, sending down players. So up and down. Up and down to 10. Pending. There's some dragon actions. Approve. Check my cap sheet. Back in the miners. So there may be some delay when you do your transactions because it needs to be approved. But the, the reasoning behind it is because we want to synchronize it to the hockey. And uh, that will, that way no nothing gets missed on our end. Um, I notice in other fancy leagues, the thread will get all cluttered up and transactions get missed. So this will keep it easy for us to update the pickup hockey sheet. The same thing applies for long-term injury reserve. Um, Let's say, you know, MacArthur actually just got a concussion, so I'll put him up on there. And once again, it's pending, so what will happen is a commissioner will check to see if this is a legitimate request. He'll uh, Google, you know, Clark MacArthur injury, check if he's actually out long term, and if he is, he will accept it. And then what will happen is he'll be put on the long term injury reserve right there. And there's the freed up cap space. So, pretty simple stuff. So now waivers get a little bit tricky. Um, so let's say I put Patrick Maroon on waivers. So it's pending and not because it's pending because, you know, waivers last one day, right? So what happens is you have to go to the waiver wire page. And then you um, see Chicago Waste Patrick Maroon 926. And um, this also will be shown here. 
But anyways, on the waiver wire page, obviously I can't claim a player I waived, so that's why I cannot claim uh, Patrick Maroon. But let's let's say um, let's go. Let's say Dallas wants to play him. So the waiver wire. There's a button. So for claim. There you go. He claim. Well, we're not claim, but I placed the claim. So. Okay, so you can't spam claim request. We go to transactions. See Dallas places the claim on Patrick Maroon. So Dallas has placed the claim. So now let's go back to the admin account, the commissioner account. And then you go to transactions. So what he'll do is, say, like, let's say in a day or two days, you'll check up on this. So if I hit this, then I'll be editing the waiver status. The teams that have placed the claim, Dallas. So he, what he'll do is, um, let's just say there's four or five teams that have placed the claim, and uh, the lowest seed obviously gets the player, so he will uh, select that team here and then hit go. So there it is. Dallas has claimed Patrick Moon off the waivers. So if I uh, put Dallas's cap sheet, There he is, Patrick Maroon. So now let's say, um, let's say I've waived someone. Greg Campbell. Yeah, Greg Campbell. And then, let's say no one claims them in a day. Okay, hit plus. No team has placed a claim. So then he'll just clear waivers. There he is. Greg Campbell has cleared waivers. Go to the cap sheet. And, um, Okay, I guess this is not complete yet, but you'll get the you get the picture. So if he clears waivers, he gets sent down to the miners. So that's how the waivers work. And um, I'll show you something. So if um, so, I waived the uh, Warren Fiddler at 9:28 p.m. So tomorrow at 9:29. The button will, this button will be gone, like the, the claim button. Obviously I can't see this, um, because I'm, I'm the one who waves me, but. So this button will go away after 24 hours, so no one can claim the player. So, don't worry about that. Um, so yeah, that's how waiver works. And, um, there's also the activate off to long term injury reserve, same thing, hit go. It'll be pending, you know, accept it or uh, decline it. We're going to do that on the admin account. In this case, I'll just decline it because he's actually injured, so boom, it goes down to the bottom. And he's uh, still no long term injury is it. So, that's pretty much it at the moment. What I'm going to do is add some, you know, cool stuff, maybe like a player spotlight right here. Have a picture of a random player on your team, your captain, or maybe your oldest player, youngest, player, something cool, something like that. This, play, this page is pretty bland at the moment, and um, the trades page isn't working at the moment. Um, well, it's not; it's just not set up yet. So what it will look like is uh, this is what it will look like. So this is um, our GMG the pool, uh, the sim. And uh, that's what it kind of looks like at the moment. So this will be something similar to this. And um, I'll also have it. Every trade will be over here as well in the transaction. So that's pretty much it for that. And then um, the CBA is just a link to the wiki where all the rules are. Um, some of these are going to be changed because now that now that everything's automated in the website. We don't need to actually tag anyone in the thread or do anything like that. So this will have to be reworked, so uh, that will be done soon. And then there's a link to pick up hockey. And then cool name is RGMD, or cool password RGMD, login. Yeah. There you go, all the teams are set up.
it took, uh, took Bear quite a while to do this, so appreciate appreciate him for doing that. And it all looks like <laughs> G-Stang is kind of messy. Cool. All right. So, and then you guys already know what the cash sheet's all about. It's got all the information you need. You know, you go up to any team. Looks like a little more shoulder of the cash. <laughs> um, click on the team. See the roster, draft picks, long-term users, goaltenders, miners. So yeah, everything's here. So I really hope uh, you guys uh, enjoy this. So like I said, just PM me for your uh, username and password, and then you guys can start setting your captains and stuff, and uh, just look around how it. Uh, look around and see if you got any suggestions or any bugs that you've noticed. Uh, let me know. Um, It's also mobile friendly, so you should be able to go on your phone. It will work uh, perfectly fine. Like I purposely designed this to be mobile friendly, as you can see. Yeah, it's mobile friendly, so it should you should be able to go on your phone and uh, do everything no problem. So, yeah, just uh, send me a PM once again, and uh, hope you guys enjoy.